What's up guys, I'm BTC. There is a brand new map added with this update and it is specifically for the capture the flag game mode. Let's go check it out. I've gone ahead and made a custom game. I do want to show you something real fast though. If we go to the map section, you'll notice like Ilios and Li Zhang Tower and Nepal, all of those, they have multiple versions of the Capture the Flag. But with Iowatha, it is just the one map, and that is it. So there is no multiple versions of it. So we're going to go back, and then we're going to jump into the game. This map looks awesome. So I'm going to quickly point out just the outside of the map real fast. I know it's not something that you would normally pay attention to when you're trying to play one of these rounds, but just the outside looks really awesome. It gives the whole map like this really cool ambiance, this really nice feel to it. So that looks just really awesome. And then let's kind of get like a top down view a little bit. You can see kind of like the uh, the more ancient aspect of it, and then this is the more modern part. So let's go and check out the ancient stuff first. So this is the blue flag, and their spawn room is going to be right back here. And this is where they're going to start, and that looks awesome, man. That just looks so cool. I wonder if, I don't think I can get up there. No, that's just uh, walled off. Just for looks. But that looks really cool. And, alright, so how many exits do we have? So we have the one exit over here on the left. And then it looks like we just have the main one here. So you've got that one over there and then this one over here. And then here's the flag. We can go up this staircase. And then that gives us... A little bit of high ground to look down on the capture the flag area and let's head out through here see where this brings us so this is gonna bring us out to kind of like the the central area so let's go back in and we're gonna check out the rest of it there's a lot of high ground low ground type stuff there's a mega in here where does this go Oh, this comes right up and around. Oh, man, there are so many different paths to this. I like this. I think this is going to be a lot better than the other Capture the Flag maps. Simply because there are so many paths that you can go to. It's not like... So, the problem with the other existing Capture the Flag maps is there are only a couple of choke points. And it's really, really easy to defend those. But it looks already like there are a ton of different ways, different paths you can take in order to get into this area. Like, just look at that. There's so many different routes. You can go down and around. You can go up over here. And again, that looks really cool. You can come over here. This is going to be level with that. So there's lots of high ground, lots of different paths. That looks awesome. We got another mega over here. Let's head out into kind of the center of this. So you've got, like, look at, let's count how many paths you got. So you have the one door right there, and then you have the main one. You have the bottom and the top. Then you have another path. Is this another path? No, the, okay, this isn't another path. There's a mega right there, though. But we do have another path up here. So there's one, two, three, I guess, if you count the top sort of maybe for certain characters and then another one right here so three three and a half ish four different ways that you can access it and then once you go in there's like you can go left you can go right up down so many different ways let's go and check out the middle here so we've got pretty awesome looking statue in the middle now part of the whole capture the flag system that was changed was if it's a draw or if it's like you know the teams are even rather what ends up happening is the capture the flags get moved towards the center so it makes it so that there's a lot less draws that happen so this was towards that mega over there and then let's check out this side it's basically gonna be a mirror of the other side 
Yeah, there's the Mega right there, except it's all futuristic, all high-tech, nice and pretty. We got a nice little uh, kind of fountain going here. And let's check in for this spawn room. All sorts of modern art. Not sure what is that. Is that just supposed to be like a fountain? There's no water in it though. You need to get a repairman, get some <laughs> the elevators and uh, coffee and all that sort of stuff. So again, it's basically just a mirror of the other side, but it's all nice and pretty and futuristic and everything. Let's check out some of these other paths again. So here's the high ground for that. Ooh, you know what though? Hold on, I think this side might actually have a teeny tiny advantage. I mean, it's like super, super minor, but the fact that there's uh, actual like barricades, like the, the glass here that you'd have to break in order to actually uh, attack down. Let me check. I want to see if there's some stuff on the other side, if there's like stone or whatever. I don't think so. No, there isn't. Okay, that actually, hey, that's like a super, super, super tiny advantage. Uh, there's also a, a mini health pack under there. But I do feel like, they, you know, it's like an extra second. You have to, like, break it in order to, to get past it and stuff. I mean, it's it's not really a big deal. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that big of a deal. I just think that, it's, you know, it's not exactly mirrored. There's the other mini right there. And we can check out some of these other pathways again up here. So this seconds remaining. this looks like a really awesome looking map. I think this is very well designed for the CTF. I think this is going to be way better than the existing ones. You know, I think it's kind of the same thing that they had with the uh, what do you call it the uh, the free for all maps, right? So they tried to convert some of the old free for all maps. Uh, some of the old maps into free-for-all and it it didn't really work that well but the chateau map is really good because it was specifically designed for it and this is specifically designed for ctf and i think it's going to be a lot better because of it i'm wondering if we're going to get to see the flag actually move into the center now there's no actual players in here but in the event of a draw it is supposed to move the flags into the center so they're easier to capture. Let's see if it actually does it. Sudden death. Sudden death. There it goes. Flags are moving closer. And there they go. So the flags are now closer. That is way, way closer. So it gives you a little bit of extra time now. Oh, oh, it actually resets the match because it's assembling the heroes again. So it doesn't just continue as if the match was still going on. It actually does let you go back and reassemble uh, to get a different lineup for your characters on your Five, team. Four, That's cool. Three, I like that. Two, one. So this is supposed to make it way, way easier to capture the flag so that you don't have as many draws. Anyways, I think this is a really good map. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. The links are down below. Thanks for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.